Okay, so I've been using the Lumix S5 II for the last couple of months. And one feature that I really like is the LUT loading feature. However, I've discovered a bit of a problem with that, to be honest. Um, when you are using it for both video and photo, it's shooting in the V-Log picture profile, which is fine for video, but if you are gonna be using it for photos, putting a LUT straight on top, you're gonna need to have a conversion LUT underneath that before it looks anywhere like your intended result. So I've actually found a solution. It involves combining two LUTs together, then loading that final LUT into your camera via SD card. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now with this very, very, very brief and quick tutorial. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through it with you step by step. So on my desktop here, I've got a screen grab in Vlog um, and also my base LUT and my look LUT which is Hestero 2, which is my favorite. So I'm gonna start by dragging the screen grab straight into Photoshop, just to open that up. Then I'm gonna go down to the effects tab and I'm gonna go for color lookup. This allows you to load a LUT directly onto an image. So then I'm gonna select, first of all, the base LUT from Gamut to convert it into Rec. 709. Then I'm gonna do the same thing again load another LUT on, but I'm gonna use my Hestia look LUT. So it looks a little bit overexposed at this point, but the first thing I'm gonna do is put them both into a folder so it kind of groups them directly. So just drag them both into that group. So then I can toggle that on and off just like so. You can see the order, the look LUT is on the top and then the conversion LUT is underneath. So now I'm just gonna add some brightness and contrast just to set for how I normally expose. So I'm gonna reduce the brightness, increase the contrast. You don't have to do the step, but for me, it just makes sure that I've got a bit more of an understanding of how it might look in post. Just doing a couple more adjustments and putting the brightness and contrast right at the bottom. So you can see now with this group, I can toggle that on and off completely. So there's the V-Log screen grab, and then there's with the two LUTs applied. So once you've got your final look, you need to export that as its own LUT. So you go to File, Export, and then Color Lookup Tables. because so that's what LUT stands for, Lookup Table. Click on that, press OK, and then just call it something simple. So I'm gonna call it Hestia 709, just to differentiate from the original LUT. Then that creates that cube file, and then you can then load that straight onto your camera's SD card, and that is the two LUTs combined. From here, you can then shoot video with the look baked in, although I don't recommend doing that. I would probably just stick to shooting log, but it's good if you are creating content quickly for social media, for example. If you're a photographer, you can also set your camera to JPEG and RAW. Any RAWs that you take are gonna be kept in the original plain RAW, but then any JPEGs that you have, when you're selecting that as a picture profile, you can then use them with the LUT baked in. Just remember though, that once the LUT is baked in, you can't unbake it. So this LUT loading feature really is only for certain circumstances. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.